threw that in there I, I it was supposed to it was supposed to calm down a little bit but i think we got to talk about this i mean shout out to our, our our camera guy like our video guy who does that yeah visual dude going crazy bro he, he going stupid he, he deserve a, a pay a pay raise for real bro my man said a pay raise mike just walked up there and said that's me baby that's me i did that i drew that up yeah ha <laughs> ha run it again yeah, bro, we didn't even finish it. Plan that shit back. That shit is that fire. Run that shit back. Mike said, what, run like that shit. Time? Yeah, we only got a part of it. Hey, so let's let's get back like into it. Let's... Minutes, so... Yeah, yeah. Run that shit back. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> That's some heat right there, bro. That's some heat right there. Ivan says, brother, uh, what's that? Brother, uh, uh, uh. What up, Ivan? We said we, we ain't saying ew no more. We're saying uh. Shout out Dre. I know Dre's about to get wild on here. We got uh we got Corey sitting in the green room. Yeah. We got somebody else in the green room as well. Let's let's bring Corey in here right now. Oh, Say what's up to Corey. What's good, Corey? How you doing, friend? Hey, what's that? How time man? you show up, cuz? Hey, nigga, I was I had some shit. I had some shit to do. Nigga. I had to do it. Yeah, all right. Carmen. It was an important fight. It was a monumental fight, nigga. Had to do a little fight video real quick. It's still uploading right now. Okay. Hey, so Corey, Corey got a fight video coming up. But um, before we get into before we get into anything, Corey. Corey had some monsters in his neighborhood last night. Oh shit, nigga! And and, and I, I gotta I gotta hear, I because we got some audio, but I need to hear a backstory before we get into the audio, because then after that audio, we're gonna bring in our guests. But yeah. let, let, let's get into it. I gotta hear it, Corey. Okay, so I yeah, break that shit down first. I crash out real quick. It's probably like nine. No, nah, it's, it's like midnight. It's late at night. You know what I'm saying? But my apartment's. They got like these big, tall, spiky gates so the monsters can't get in. They can't get in the apartments, but they sleep in the parking lot, like under the covered parking, in the spots on the ground. Okay? Like they sleep on the floor, on the, no yeah. tents, no boxes, no none of that shit. Because when they start bringing all that shit, that's when they get kicked out. So they just sleep on the spots like they, like their beds. So anyway, nigga. <laughs> This one bro, she a goer. She be around in the neighborhood. You see her all the time with everybody, all the time. Whoever got the blue shit, she be fucking with. So she been the blue chip? With this not nah, a blue shit. Not, not the Kenny shit. Not the Kenny shit. The Finch shit. So she been fucking around with this one dude. Not the Kenny shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> she fucking around with this one dude. Not, These not, are those Tom Brady moments. <laughs> so. Now this nigga think he her boyfriend, right? And so he had to leave somewhere, I guess, work. 
I don't know. They live outside. They live in the elements, bro. So it's not like work is home. stealing catalytic converters for people Who that knows? don't know. So it's midnight. He leave, and now my window is right above the monsters. Like it's right directly below me. You can hear this whole shit like they in my house. So now when he leave to go to work, some other motherfucker pull up in a pickup truck, and Stacy in the back of the pickup truck getting cracked out, nigga. She laying down in the bed of the truck getting smashed. Now, bruh, whoever that left the first time, he come back in the middle of the shit and see the shit happening. He see the shit happening and he's like, bitch, what the fuck? I'm done with you. I'm done with you, bitch. I ain't coming back. You fucking somebody. She, I can't hear her as clear as him. And then she say something. He be like, nah, you was fucking somebody. You weren't even inside. I saw you in the bed. I saw you in the truck. You were not even inside. So she's getting cracked in the parking lot. And then the part that you're gonna hear on the audio is when he uh when he had enough, bro. Like I finally got up and I recorded and he was like, I'm fucking done with you, girl. And so this is when this is when Corey finally got out of bed and, and hit the recording. Everybody, this is for your listening pleasure. Your stories be waking me up. They be waking me up, these monster stories. Or did he just go to another like cardboard box somewhere else on the parking lot? Bro, tell me why, tell me why it don't sound like Eminem from Eight Mile though. (laughs) (laughs) After he beat Wink's ass. (laughs) I'm fucking done with you, girl. I've been saying that shit for like three days. That happened three days oh ago. I've been I'm, fucking that. <laughs> I'm fucking done with you, girl. Oh my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, because that shit went on probably like a good 20 minutes. He was emotional, nigga, throwing shit, breaking shit. But I've been kind of low key checking every day, trying to see. Like, I bet that nigga is still fucking with Stacy. And I just want to see. I just want to see if they still ride around together. I ain't seen neither Hold one. Hold on. Derek Derek Long said Stacy was just busy working. Why is he tripping? Look, he had to go to work. She had to go to work. But here's the thing. Hey. This, who, what bills are they paying, Kenny? Come on, Kenny, uh, Kenny. Like, what bills are they paying? So she didn't need to go to work that bad. I mean, maybe she needs to get a blue right. yeah, contract. I don't know. Tom Brady moment. <laughs> Could have pulled up on her off that kinky kitty. It had to get it cracked <laughs> in the pickup truck, man. <laughs> He got that. He got that. He got that Bluetooth contract, and was just like, "Oh my Ugh. God! Like, what are we gonna do, brother? Ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? Brother, Ugh. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Hey, before we get off topic, because we didn't even talk to lick of football yet. Pause. Yeah, you're deep. right. Um, <laughs> Here you fucking go again, nigga. Oh, hey, man, just, I'm just Tom some... Brady moment. Do you be doing this shit on hey. purpose, nigga? Hey, <laughs> let's get hey, it. Let's so, get it. Is you still on the run, bro? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, my what the fuck? <laughs> Barbados or whatever. Um, but hey, Crazy. before we get up, before we get fully off topic we'll and we start just going completely sideways, I would like to welcome our guest. No, and diddy, this dude, no diddy, no diddy, no diddy. This dude is literally like he he's got one of the dopest channels on YouTube. Uh his film breakdowns are second to none. Uh this guy knows more about football than most armchair GMs, most Twitter GMs, uh, even some coaches out there, <clears throat> Josh McDaniels. Anyways, <laughs> without further ado, I would love to introduce Mark John from uh Tape Don't Lie. Oh, we got my nigga Mark. Yo, what up, y'all? We got my nigga Mark. What's happening? What up, y'all? What up? How y'all doing? How you doing? Hey. hey. I would just tell y'all real, real quick. When we run this back, nigga, I'm gonna be run- making a face. He was like, "He's second or none with tape." I'm like, "Nigga, who?" But no, cause official. I didn't. <laughs> I was like, "Who's he talking about?" <laughs> nah, that's him. That's him. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up, Marcus? I'm chilling, Doc. So I know who you are, Kenny and Mike. 
uh, some of us, some of them don't know about the Tate Don't Lie series, right? Like, so what is it that you do with Tate Don't Lie? Because it used to be you and somebody else. Now you're doing all of this by yourself? So it used to be, uh, so Tate Don't Lie, basically started by me and BD Williams. Me and uh, BD, we did it for about four years. So uh, basically, we just watched film together. So it was just me and him, we watched film. We did it for fun. And we were like, fuck it, let's just go ahead and just do it together right let's just start a podcast see, see what, how the fuck it goes and basically at that point it kind of just took off way more than we expected we were just expected to just do it for like it was just some yeah. shit me and him were gonna do back and forth and it ended up taking off ended up being kind of a uh you know a bigger experience for me and him and you know with bd you know i, I think just a little it got a little bit too much where it became more of a job and he didn't really even like josh daniels i'm gonna tell you straight up a lot of it had to do with josh daniels and just kind of having to cover that. How long am I to cover Josh McDaniels? And I, I think it, it kind of just got to him a little bit. And, you know, so he kind of just went and decided to be a little bit of a family man. You know, he's on his dean and stuff like that. So uh, um, with that, and that kind of, just, uh, you know, brought in Matt Holder and then even brought in uh, Glenn Rockney. And we started the, the TDL Friday Night Lives with the gambling, which is kind of got a sparked off and just kept the film going. And I do a lot of, I do most of the, the individual breakdowns. I do all that shit myself. That's uh, the memberships. I do all those quarterback shits, man. I do all that, all that. That's all me. So, um, so the most of the channel is still me solo, but the rest of it, you know. Um, that is so here. So here, I'm. I'm not even gonna pretend to get into it like you do. Yeah. But, but I fuck around with that stuff a little bit. Mm -hmm. The amount of detail and the amount of time you're doing on these cut ups. And compare yeah. this throw to this throw, and this situational football to this situational football, and this player to fuck. How long is this taking you to do this kind of shit? Uh, it, it takes me a while, man. Like, uh, especially when I'm doing like uh, during the season, I like to do like every single throw of the quarterback. It doesn't matter who the quarterback is. I try to do that. I try to do every single throw, break it down, chop it up, and then I usually chop it up for so for my members, they get every single throw. I do a breakdown. It takes me like forty five minutes. And then I chop it up afterwards, and then I put it out. And I'll, I'll probably put some designs on it, and then I'll get ready for my show. And then, you know, then I'm getting ready for this and that. It's a lot of film. Man. I wa I'm watching film constantly. I mean, I was watching film today. Um, you know, I watch film just <laughs> almost 24-7, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's it, it's a grind, though. I mean, doing the film, it's a grind. It's, it's just, you know, it's kind of exhausting a little bit and that's why you can see like when you're getting into like josh mcdaniel shit it, it did get tiring it got time for me yeah you know i mean that last especially that last season with Derek Carr, man that, that shit got super tiring you know when people yeah. wanted me to do you know other shit and doing whatever whatever it got mad tiring so i mean that's why kind of why bd you know in my opinion that's why he might have started to fade off a little bit and you know didn't want to put the time into this because it does take a lot of time and it's, it's you know especially right now with draft picks you know, we, we have this plan and we kind of doing this thing but we're trying to get all the draft picks in and we're a little behind on that so it's it's a lot man it is yeah and it, it's got to be crazy like it's it's got to take a ton of time and i know that a lot of people appreciate your shit because i don't i don't keep up with these comments because i don't know how to do that shit and stay focused at the same time i can't but ADHD. every time i look down it's somebody talking about tdl tame don't lie. so you got fans bro so Shout out to Tate, don't lie. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Doing your thing. And and I'm going to tell you this. I like watching Lyman and doing all this other shit. But man, every single time I know that you're watching the same player as me, thank God. I don't like it's a whole bunch of work I ain't got to do. I just sit down yeah. and watch it <clears throat> and, and believe you for the most part because the, the, the part that's hard to understand with everybody that watches film, I don't watch film, I watch clips of YouTube. Mm -hmm. The part that's hard is that when people look at this kind of shit number one they don't know what they're looking at they don't know what they're looking for and things like that you can't you can tell anybody something's good or something's bad and what most people do because they don't know is just agree with whatever the most popular opinion is or whatever mm -hmm. somebody on espn says or whatever the reason why i appreciate your kind of stuff and terry and bd the re you guys watch it and then you say whatever you're gonna say and sometimes you agree with other people and sometimes you don't but it's factual you know what i'm saying you make your opinion based on it but you say what you say when somebody doesn't have arm driver leg drives you say that and you can see it on the tape because it don't lie it's right there yeah. uh -huh. so i appreciate yeah. metrics and all of that shit, but watching it happen and listening to a breakdown 
is way easier for me to understand football because with all of the new schemes and shit every fucking week i can't keep up i, I think i played football but that yeah. don't even count they don't even play the kind of football that i played i have no fucking idea right Corey ran a 4-3 base and that's a, they, they had like three stunts and that's about it and that's it bro that's it <laughs> it's the first down or third down right to the point like, but no, I, I do. I do second that, though, because, you know, um, there's very few creators out there that can that can actually generate that that content and break the game down. So the layman can understand it. You know, you've got you, you've got BD, you've got Glenn, who's doing a good job over there. And then, you know, outside of that is really only Ted, Ted Wynn and uh, Chris Reed. They're the only uh-huh. ones that really like y'all are the only ones that break it down so people can understand it. But oh, yeah. you're breaking it down into the point where oh. like. My five year old can watch it and be yeah, like, Look, that's the shit. Oh, that's yeah, the I shit. learned the game. Like, yeah, there's the nobody shit. doing that. And that's, I think that that needs to be celebrated because tape don't lie. Y'all be putting out some fire content. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate all, yeah. all the love, man, that you guys, are, you guys are showing me right now because, you know, it, it is a lot of grinding, man. And, you know, what I try to be, because I think a lot of film stuff that you see out there is a little boring. You know what I mean? It's, it's hard to keep film entertaining and that's that's what i, I like mm-hmm. to do i like that's why i try to make as many jokes as i do when i try to break down film i just try to keep it as entertaining as possible because it's it's tough to to bring film in and make it entertaining that's why you don't see it on tv there's no more nfl playbook on tv with ball and uh, right. you know, uh sterling sharp they used to have that show all the time that show's gone you know you, they're not doing that every single week anymore you might have to go on you know ball had to go to twitter you know what i mean like he, he got kicked off the tv what he was doing so those type of things it, it's hard as a hard sell you know and you know he, that's why lebron's trying to do that in the nba He's trying to make it, you know, kind of break it down for some of these you know, dumbass NBA fans that are out here. But, you know, um, <laughs> I mean, the, the NBA fans are crazy. They, they match so up. explain, but, so explain this to everybody why you live 15 minutes down the street from me and you won't come fuck with me. Explain oh. to everybody why why that is. Hey, hey, nigga, I hit you up last year. You got to bear with it. I hit you up to do a, a D-line <laughs> shit. You, you, I, I did, nigga. I hit you up. You some uh-huh. D-line shit. Oh, the truth comes out. Did we Dark, hey, delirious did, did motherfucker? We did, 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 yeah, we lost. Yeah, we Hollywood. lost. That's yeah, what it did. did, of course. Of course, nigga. I'm a child. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> he we said, lose. I'm a child. I'm not fucking living that shit over again. I, was, <laughs> yeah, I hit you up, oh, dog. Man. I hit you for, for some shit. So, especially when VD went down, man, I was trying to think of any idea, man. I need to get something. Yeah, especially when we especially lose, I, got, I got two white guys, anyways. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I need to get some black. When we lose, so. I'm emotional, nigga. I can't do with it, nigga. I don't. <laughs> I don't like I don't like hanging out with women, nigga. I don't want to be around nobody. I'll be just in this bitch fountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can say <laughs> I, I, I knew to Dre say, was I'm gonna a, say I'm something. A, I'm gonna bring the nigga out of him. <laughs> nah, nah, cause I did, cause you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I want that type of content because you know, especially doing D line, especially last year, they're looking pretty good, man. That's why I wanted to kind of bring you on so we could one, you can show off your skills Bro, a little gotta, bit too. We got to talk about Adam Butler. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you can show off your skills too a little bit and then keep it entertaining, dog. I mean, that's, okay, that's so, what it's all about. So because we all know that I'm a very emotional fan, right? So I'll just be falling in love with these players and they be my favorite even when they fucking up. Is Adam Butler as good as I think? Uh, as a pass rusher, I think, I think. I think he's fucking good. As a pass rusher, yes. Against yeah, no, a run, though, right. yeah, he, he huh? can't play the run. So, I mean, huh? he, he is a little bit of a one-trick pony. A little huh? bit so yeah he, he is a you put him in there on third down he can get out to the quarterback but you know uh-uh. first and second uh-uh. I don't, I, it's, it's a little, it's, it's, let's talk about it face to face let's talk about it yeah no nigga naruto is that nigga i'm telling you Naruto. Nigga Naruto. I every, time, every time this nigga get a sack, he get a sack, he get a tackle for loss on run plays. When he get oh a tackle God. for loss or whatever, this yeah. nigga be he doing the kung fu shit. The, I don't know what it is, but my kids told me that this shit is from um it ain't from Naruto, but but it's from some it's from that the Japanese cartoon shit. Ugh. Brother Ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? 
I didn't do nothing this time. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Sorry, bro. I think they help you in the comments. It's Dragon Ball Z. That's what it was. It's mm. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I seen a couple of them. That's the one with Goku Shit. and a green and green motherfucker. I seen a couple of them. Uh-huh. Yeah. Damn. They got fight Com- scenes. Comment section spamming Dragon Ball Z right now. What are you talking about? What are they saying? They're like Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z. Hey, Dragon who, Ball who's Z. y'all favorite uh, Dragon Ball Z character? Who are you uh, talking to? I like it's, Onion it's Turtle. The chat, everybody. Onion, you know what this shit is? There was Onion mm-hmm. Turtle, and then there was Big Big B. What shit? Hold um, the fuck on, nigga. You making shit up. Fuck you. No, it's not. There was floor shit, and fuck then there was you. three floor fuck shits. You. Fuck you, nigga. Yeah, I was listening for a minute, too. I was like, And then Pikachu. <laughs> Everybody know that's Big Dick B. What are you this talking man. about? Dre said that Vegeta was the black one. I thought it was Pico. Yeah. Hey, okay, hey, I'm 41. Can we please? I don't know. What you guys <laughs> I thought it was Piccolo. About. 41. I, didn't really watch Dragon Ball Z like I don't that. know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> So, getting out of Dragon Ball Z, let's talk about uh, <laughs> let's talk about quarterbacks. Anyway, uh, the big yeah. three, the big three have their pro days, and I know that there's some controversy with the big three. Mike, you want to get into the big three first, or uh, do you want to talk about quarterbacks? Because I know this one kind of hits you hits you hard at Whichever. home because because Cole Cole's your guy, right? Cole's your guy, but y'all got to fuck with Kato. Oh, right? that big three. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We can we can get into that. I I don't know what, what big three. I thought you meant like quarterback big three, but then when you said okay, gotcha. Don't yeah. I mean, shit. I don't think it was like that. The craziest diss. I mean, it was shock value for sure, but I don't think it was like the craziest diss possible. But still, the verse was dope. The song was fire. Like, I, I fuck with it. It's it's all competition at the end of the day, but. Of course, what, I, mean, I think Cole got to respond to that shit. Yeah, yeah I think Cole Cole, Cole Cole has to respond to it more than Drake does because Drake is just a he's a pop rapper. But we're not going to get into that now. Going into the the big three quarterbacks, the big threes had they had their pro days. So Caleb Drake and uh, and Jaden had their pro days. Um, some people said that Jaden Jalen or Jaden didn't have a good pro day. I thought he did. There was a couple passes that he missed. Whatever. Um, Caleb had a solid pro day. Keenan Allen was out there, and then uh, Drake May had one. Who wants to uh, Who wants to start on this? Uh, I mean, I can talk about the pro days. Um, so, I mean, who had the best pro day was Michael Penix. Penix had the best yeah. pro day, even though not even about throwing. It was just he showed off his athleticism, and that was his big thing. Like nobody thought he was an athlete. He's obviously an athlete, right? So, I mean, that was a big check the box for him that I think might have put him in the first round conversation just because of athleticism and he might have the biggest arm in this whole draft. Uh, you know, Jay Daniels was pretty normal, normal pro day. I wouldn't say it was, it was like, uh, would lift his stock, but it didn't ruin his stock because his stock's already top three. So there's no stock to ruin. Yeah. Right. So his stock is basically the same. He didn't have to go up or down. I thought, you know, Drake may he had a couple, he missed some throws early on, but then it was typical type of thing, you know, and, you know, Caleb's was, you know, same thing. Like those guys didn't mess up anything, right? right? I think Michael Penix is the only one that had the pro day yeah. where might have lifted him up a little bit. That and that's all because we didn't know how athletic he was, and he went out there, he ran, and that yeah. was that was why he had the big pro day. But the other guys so, were just normal. You know what I mean? So do you think if if with Michael Penix's pro day because that that was huge because we didn't see anything from him at the combine and from you know with yeah. the the pro day that he had, do you think that that could actually move him back into the first round? Yeah, I mean, NFL teams are all about athleticism. I'm telling you, they, they, at the end of the day, in, in the first round, it is the best athletes in the world. So that's the best athletic defense where, tackle. Where do you see him getting uh, drafted, bro? Where do I see him getting drafted? I mean, anywhere from like 10 to 20 at this point. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's 10 to 20 at this point because, I mean, with that athleticism and that arm, somebody's going to take a chance on it. He's just an older quarterback. He's going to be 24 when the season starts. You know, Jaden Daniels is a little different with the age. Somebody on Twitter was trying to get on me about that, but whatever. He's the same age as Joe Burrow. Him and Joe Burrow basically t- turned 24 in the same year. Yeah. Um, so he's, he's going to be 23 the whole season, basically, in the playoffs yeah. when he turns 24, if he makes the playoffs. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's nothing crazy to be to, to be upset about. He's 
basically the typical senior. And then, uh, you know, uh, with with Penix, Penix is older. Penix is going to be 24 the whole season, right? Yeah. And so he's, he's kind of getting on an older, and you kind of think maybe how much did he play? Did he play too much? Did he have too many throws? But you can say the same thing for Daniels, too, as well. But, uh, yeah, that, that's where I think Penix is going to be because it's just a huge arm and uh, and that sort of things. It's just with, with me, with Michael Penix, I can't get the senior ball out of my head because that mm-hmm. didn't do very well. I'll just say that. Mm-hmm. Well the senior ball, you know what I mean? But I like Michael Penix, though. I'm saying. Not wrong, but, you know, when I mean, he's the same, he's the same age as uh, <laughs> would you, would you eight, draft right? him at 13? Would I draft him at 13? It's, it's rough for me, man. I, I don't know. I, if they did it, I wouldn't be too crazy about it. Would I do it though? Probably not. I, I just can't. I, I literally, I cannot get the senior ball out of my head. Like, he went to senior ball and he just was not good. He couldn't. He was missing every throw. It just wasn't good at all. You know what I mean? So you go back to the film. You see some of that on film too. So it's like a little bit of a mixture. But if they took him at thirteen, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be mad about it. But would so I do it? At, probably not. If you're sitting at thirteen, do you take Terry Arnold? Arnold? Or or Michael Penix. Honestly, I'd go Terry and Arnold. I would too. I feel yeah. like at thirteen, that's a bit of a reach. Yeah, because be honestly, back. he's talented. Get Don't get me wrong, he's a talented yeah. quarterback. But thirteen's a reach. It's just the injuries, bro. That, the injury con- the injury concerns for me, bro. Yeah, I know he's been it's healthy, but still, like that's that's kind of scary, bro. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, that, that's a good point. Maybe he has a Matty hangover at the Senior Bowl, but, you know, it, it just didn't look impressive. Because, you know, when I go to the Senior Bowl most of the time, like I saw I saw Justin Herbert at the Senior Bowl, I see Jordan Love at the Senior Bowl, I see Josh Allen at the Senior Bowl, I see Baker Mayfield. They look like first-round picks. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it was like a, like it was no question, right? Like that's a first-round pick. He has the size, the arm, the, the, the ram practice. They're the best quarterbacks at the practice. You know what I mean? It stood out, especially like Josh Allen. In Baker Mayfield, like that was no question, right? I yeah. left the Senior Bowl thinking Michael Penix is a second round guy. So, and, and you you could, you could talk to you know Matt Holder, he was there with me. Anybody who's there watching them live, that's how, that's how I left. So, but you know, mm-hmm. I think he's this is a quarterback crazy league right now. Everybody wants to be Mahomes, so we're all trying right. to chase Mahomes. Everybody's trying to find that guy who who can go toe to toe with Mahomes. If we have a defense that can slow him down, who can get it done on the other side, right? And that's what teams are building. Teams are building up their defenses, and they try to get a quarterback that can beat him if they can stop him, which is easier said than done. But, you know, that's what we're building up. So there's going to be some teams that might reach on him, and the Raiders, if they like Penix, they might reach there. So So when we talk about reaches or when we talk about quarterbacks, now I'm not going to say reaches because this is definitely it wouldn't be a reach. Um, obviously my ideal would be for the Raiders to trade up, go and get Jaden Daniels. Uh, I know Mike and, and Corey are on that same page. How do you feel about that? Oh yeah. I'm hundred percent on, on board with that. Um, you know, I like Jaden a lot. I think, you know, Jaden, I'm always defending Jaden on Twitter. I feel like he just, he's the only guy who gets ripped. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Drake may don't get ripped at all. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, he gets ripped by Drake may gets ripped by NFL guys, like NFL players that break down Phil, they get mm-hmm. on Drake may. You know what I'm saying? But like these people on Twitter, I feel like they're trying to hype up Drake May and they're all upset that Drake May might not go too. But you know, Jaden Daniels, he just has that, uh, he has an NFL pedigree, NFL coaching staffs. You know, they're, 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 those guys kind of know him. They know what he's like. He was coached under Herm Edwards. He's coaching Antonio Pierce. He's coaching under Marvin Lewis. All those guys are NFL guys. And he had a huge season, you know, and, you know, he's very accurate. You know, some things that, you know, that, might have some little quirks like is, is he going to take a lot of sacks yeah six years of every single play that he made and bringing it down because he threw over the middle this year so yeah maybe he didn't throw it over the middle at asu maybe he didn't do those things maybe he wasn't asked at ASU, right but you know i'm an asu fan i'm from arizona so i fucks with asu and i remember in big moments he made big plays like the the oregon game they're playing oregon and oregon was had a chance to go to the pack book to go to actually go to the college football playoffs Right. And, you know, he's he beat them. He beat Justin Herbert, went out there, beat, beat Justin Herbert. He, he, so he has some he has some dog in him. You know, what I mean, like even yeah. he beat Alabama, uh, Bryce Young, you know, uh, when Bryce Young was out there, that was kind of his coming out party. He went out there and he beat Bryce Young and beat Alabama. And the next thing you know, Alabama's on the playoffs. And that was kind of his little bit of coming out party. He's been great ever since then. So um, 
some guys just take a little bit of time. I like how he he hangs in the pocket a little bit more than he used to. But yeah, I mean, to me, he is at least a top twenty guy, right? He's not <laughs> he's he's not gonna be like a bust or anything. The lowest you're gonna get from him what can is Daniel, probably top twenty. Can. What can Daniels do that Penis can't? Uh, he, well, number one. Wait. Wait. <laughs> how much time you got? <laughs> never, never what? It's I mean, if you see him running, he's like basically kind of like Lamar Jackson. He's probably the closest thing to Lamar Jackson that we have coming out in a now, long are time. Are saying that because of the amount of speed, or is he elusive like that? Oh. I mean, I, I think he's elusive, people, like Lamar. Because I yes. mean, in the NFL, the only people that are as elusive as Lamar are Peter <laughs> Turner's. Duh. You have to watch. It's just some, some runs. So there's one at Florida. That is crazy. Don't put up oh. on your channel. They'll, they'll, they'll take down your yeah. channel if you're trying to monetize this. But uh, <laughs> it's, he has this run against Florida that's just crazy, dog. Like he he is he like basically goes through his reads and he just decides to score a touchdown, makes three guys miss, runs for a touchdown about sixty yards he, against. He did it like three times against Florida. Corey. Okay. So and there's one more against Missouri. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you guys seen this one against Missouri, but he is just. We'll just take off, Ooh. make three guys miss. Yep. His problem is he don't slide. Yeah. Right, Corey? He don't slide. Yeah. That's his problem. He just, he'll get popped. But uh, we could teach him how to slide. We just got to you know work on that. You learn but that, I, pros. I, I, I will yeah. agree with uh, Rob too. I think he's more. He's one of the most accurate passers in the draft. I, I will go Caleb and then Jaden. I like his throwing I think, capabilities. For yeah, I think yeah. Jaden. Uh, really... uh, Caleb is more accurate than he is. Um, you know, but Jaden. Is probably the second guy, especially with the deep ball. He's accurate to all, all, the, all three levels. He can throw all three levels. He anticipates. I guess anticipate a little bit better over the middle field, but over the middle field. But that's just that's 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 an opinion in my opinion. So uh, if they trade it up, bro, after him, I really be, hope we get him, bro. I, I really want to see. I really want to see that, bro. Uh, that that back shoulder fade to Devonte, bro. It's good. He has it's a nice back shoulder fade throw, bro. That back shuttle fade to to to, to Tay yeah, to Kobe it, to Trey happen. Tucker like any one of them can get it. Now when yeah. you pivot back and you talk back about Mayor. Michael Penix when you talk about Michael Penix because you did say that he had the biggest arm. Yeah, now, would he have the biggest arm as well as the most arm talent? And talking about just the overall ability in his arm, or is who's who's the best passer coming out? Let's just say pure passer. Who's the best passer coming out? Uh, it's Caleb. Caleb. It's, Caleb. it's Caleb. I think Caleb's special. I, I think Caleb yeah. is a uh, yeah. He's special I'm, talent. I'm, and and it's it's no knock against Caleb. It's actually the total opposite. When we start having these conversations, I don't even include him because I think that I put him in a different class anyway. So I'm too. feeling like, oh yeah, he's he's the best passer. He's the best quarterback. Period. Who else? Like that's what I'm talking about. Amongst okay. everyone else, I'm not even including Caleb because I feel like he's the best. You so, gotta so speak I, up or turn up. At East Coast, who the fuck is this? Your volume is tough. Yeah, you saying your mic is down. Your mic's down. East Coast Raider. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah your man. volume. Turn my. Hold on. Let me, I'm sorry. Corey, I'm sorry. Corey in the Corey in the studio trying to come on, trying dog. To go off no Diddy. Hey, shut up. <laughs> uh, but but to, to answer your question, Corey, the best passer, I, I would say, the best passing ability, I would say, probably besides Caleb, is probably Jaden Daniels. I, I'm also I would almost say Drake May, but just Drake May has too much happy feet for me. Um, he and, got and too much what? He got happy feet. Oh, happy feet. Yeah, he got he got the happy feet problem. Um, yeah. And if he doesn't have happy feet, he would be the best passer. But it, it, it's it's just it's a a big problem for him that you know you, all you do with Drake Mays is hit him. That was the, who the fuck is Derek Long, nigga? All of these niggas got all kind of extra super super tough man motherfucking energy, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with Derek though, man. That's what I do. Hey, this is this said, right here, nigga. <laughs> I apologize because I seen his name a couple times and he always been. Cool. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what happened right now. Yeah, yeah, but uh, Derek Long, hey, I, I don't know what you look like. Do you know what I look like? Do not shoot me. I apologize. Uh, so what I'll say to this comment, though, I'm gonna say this comment is that Justin Fields played Ohio State offense, which I mean is totally different, and it is not like 
play how she did. I, I'll, I'll say that. Right. And you, so Justin Fields, you know, some of the things that he did in college, he kept doing in the NFL, which is hold the ball really, really, really long to make any read on the field. And it just that, that just kind of came with it. Jane Daniels is not like that. He's a pretty quick processor. So that's why uh, I would say the difference between them. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I don't see I, I don't see a comparison there, to be honest. So no, but. yeah. So, so in then, your opinion, do you think it's a real possibility that Washington goes uh, Drake May over Jaden Daniels? No, I don't think so. One uh, Dan Quinn is 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 no. that, and that and eleven on eleven is kind of the thing. You know, I mean, he, he knows as a defensive guy that Jaden Daniels is going to make the defense have to play eleven on eleven, no matter what. And defensive coaches like running quarterbacks. Those are the guys who really like yeah. it. I mean, that's why, I mean, Rex Ryan is the one who gave Tyrod Taylor a chance. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Nobody was giving him a chance to start. Rex Ryan did because he knows. They know yeah. how tough it is for defenses to game plan against those type of guys. And you can follow the defensive you know, guys in this league, some of those coaches, they usually have those type of uh, guys around them. You know, I, I mean, I would count John Harbaugh. I mean, he's a special teams coach, but I mean, that's kind of the same thing. You know, they embrace those type of players that give them 11 on 11 so i mean it'll, it'll be tough but i could be wrong on that i mean they could like drake may i mean they, they could like jj you know a lot of teams like him so well look at it this way let's just imagine let's go to our nightmare scenario our nightmare scenario is that the raiders do not create <clears throat> they don't get one of these top quarterbacks in the draft they don't get one at all actually they are gonna have to start the season with gardner Minshew. So when you get a chance to start the season with Gardner Minshew, what is it that they're going to do in the draft to try to surround him, to make them at least competitive and make them more competitive or something like that? Because you don't necessarily have a backfield yet. All, no disrespect to Zamir White. And I like Zamir White, but I feel like he has some limitations and there's something else that they need. What is it that they would do to make them more competitive? And I assume it would be offensively if they did not improve with a quarterback. Yeah. So, so in my opinion, um, if Minshew starts over O'Connell, I, 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 that would be a problem in my opinion. I think O'Connell should win that job just because he's just, it's, it's not even one. I think, I think O'Connell could handle the fan base a little bit better than Minshew will. I think Minshew, once Minshew, once we watch Minshew, I think the fan base kind of, you know, have mm -hmm. some words. And there's a lot of words said about O'Connell. And O'Connell, we have no clips of him saying anything bad or anything like that. I, I, I would expect Jesus is on board. Yeah, you he know what I'm saying? kicking it with Jesus, that's why. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, you know, Derek Carr, you know, he couldn't handle the fan base, you know what I mean? And Aiden O'Connell, he he's getting funny. some. Yeah, right? So he was getting some things that I'd thrown at him, especially, you know, you the Chiefs game, the the zero-point Vikings game. and uh -huh. he yeah, you know what I'm saying? He handled that with with just kind of like how you want an NFL quarterback to be with the, with the Raiders fan base, in which I think they got to figure that out, too, when they pick one of these quarterbacks. He can't be soft when it comes to, these, to the fan base because they didn't use ass up. He's soft. So, uh, uh, but with the build around Minshew, to be honest, I think that's more on Luke Getty than anybody else. I think Getty's going to have to come with it if it's Minshew. If you're talking about quarterback. Come like some what? RPOs, give him some really easy looks because he can't throw downfield at all. Like, O'Connell can't really throw downfield, but Minshew can't throw past twenty yards. So that's wait, his hold on, issue. wait a minute. What do you what do you mean? So what like is really, it that he does that? How, he's just gutsy, man. He, he's he's fired. He's a backup. He's a gutsy. He comes he in. Lives in a van down he's, by he's, the he river. Might, he might he might <laughs> Look, yo, man. <laughs> he might run for a first down. <laughs> I, I'm just keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. He might run for a first down. He's just gutsy, right? And you know you have to have to because 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 like you know to build around him. You gotta have a good offensive line, but sometimes he's gonna drift and he's gonna do things. Your offensive line is not gonna matter. He's gonna take a sack. Oh, you don't want him to take. He's gonna fumble. Um, you know, so you have to have a great offensive line around him. So they're gonna need a right tackle. They're gonna need a run game. So they got to get another running back. But hopefully, it's like Tyrone Tracy, somebody like that. They bring one of those dudes in. Ty Ty get, Tyrone Tracy, talk to me about Tyrone Tracy. Tyrone Tracy is a uh, wide receiver carrying running back. So basically, he's kind of raw as a running back, but he has great vision. And with his own oh, game, okay. to so, and he so is he someone that, that, that played special teams also? So, like, yeah. how do you? He returns okay. kicks. Too. He returns kicks, and that's where you saw that he has the vision. Oh no, no, no! I, I saw it on film at Purdue. So, because he, he okay, Iowa, he played wide receiver, 
right? Yeah. And he went to Purdue and he became a running back. And okay. he uh, averaged, I think, like six yards per carry this year. Um, you know, Purdue was an air raid team, so they didn't run on the ball a lot. But when they did run, he, he was he was great, man. He was uh, doing outside zone. He was making plays out there. And he could make dudes miss in the open field like crazy. It is wild to kind of watch him run. There's, there's this run against, uh, I think it's uh, Wisconsin, that he, like, breaks, like, six tackles and takes, like, 50 yards. And he'll break tackles in the Tracy. hole. He breaks tackles in the hole, too. Like, there's, there's this one play that, you know, um, I actually posted on Twitter where he took the cutback in outside zone. And then he had a guy coming towards him. He made that guy miss about five yards into the hole. He took it outside, spin, and got 20 yards. So some Tyrone Tracy, he's his buzz is rising because he can play wide receiver too. Like he can get open. Like and he could block. He can catch everything. So he's a he's a three-down back. So okay. you, got, you got to bring in somebody like that. What kind of size does he have? Uh, he's, 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 he's good size. He's like a, big he's like two, I think he's like two fifteen or something like that. He's got good wow. Size. Yeah. That yeah, was man. a big ass receiver. <laughs> that's that's what Iowa thought too, I guess. Yeah, and, that was a big ass receiver, so that's how he ended up being a motherfucking running back, huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. But he can catch. He can catch too. That's a big thing with him, and he can block. So uh, I'm really high on Tyron Tracy. Uh, so, but that's somebody they could bring in. They got to bring in somebody like that. If you're gonna play around Minshew, he's got to have a damn running game. I mean, because if you think about it, when the Raiders beat the uh, the Colts beat the Raiders last year, the second half, what did Minshew do? Do you remember anything he did that game? He was, he was a gutsy, bro. He was gutsy. <laughs> He's gutsy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, he he might have ran for a couple of first downs. <laughs> Mark, yeah, Mark is he, he he like Trey, ben. Trey Benson? I think Trey Benson is more of a guy where you have to have a great offensive line because he, he needs a hole. But if he hits a hole, he's gone, right? He has a long speed, but I, I feel like that he needs a he needs help from his offensive line. This offensive line isn't good. It's gonna be a long day. So, because what you see with Trey Benson is that as he got more carries, yeah, yeah, his his numbers went down, oh, right? No. So he had less carries. He had a higher YPC, y, uh, yards per carry. His he got more carries. He got a trick, season. motherfuckers, and shit. He's a surprise, surprise yeah. back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he can catch. He can block. Like, oh damn! Why didn't know you were that fast? Shit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because because he really is. He's a, he's. I would say he's a ready to come in third down back. Trey Benson. You draft Trey Benson. And you have he's ready wife. to come in third down back. Yeah. <laughs> no, Diddy, I'm not ready. You, you got me on that. Hey, you so, ready to get on the bitch right ready now? Ready to ready to get come in. Uh, nope. Brother, uh, what's that? What's that, brother? All right. Yeah. So, you could, all right. Trey Chance, uh, Trey, Charles Tracy, six months ago, and that. Uh, he right won't hear that shit at all. <laughs> he won't hear that shit at all. Tell that me about Marshawn Lloyd. What about Marshawn Lloyd? <laughs> uh, yeah, I like Marshawn Lloyd too. You know, Marshawn Lloyd, uh, he just didn't get a lot of carries. So he doesn't like to have a, a lot of tread on him, which is kind of a good guy. I think you might give him a little later, though, and you could get some of these other guys that you kind of want to start. But, uh, you know, I, I like Marshawn Lloyd too. He has pretty good vision. He just didn't handle the ball a lot. He was definitely a, like a part of a, a group of guys. That, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. A bunch of good guys like that. So. Yeah, that's funny. I remember. It's just that matchy guy. Back I, back. I follow that guy on TikTok, so that's why I see that shit all the time. Now. Follow who on TikTok? Oh, that, that dude, uh, the dude, the, uh, the dude. Like, like I seen that. Oh. I saw that live. <laughs> 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 that's fucking. That's that's Mike. That's him. <laughs> you, you and Mike actually should work together because what's going on? You always say you're trying to make tape don't lie, and sometimes watching film is boring. Let this motherfucker put the sparkles and shit on your uh on your <laughs> shit. No, I'm I'm not you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like it'd be a regular play and it looked dope, but then Mike get it, then motherfuckers uh, zooming in and out and shit, nigga. <laughs> motherfuckers shit. be glowing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, so he could probably make your shit more hey. fun. Okay. Yeah, sh- sh- I need I need some. You know, I just I, I'm actually getting some help from some other people now. I'm delegating, so it's, it is. It's too much shit. Oh, you're sometimes. a delegator. Yeah, I'm a delegator. You know what I mean? Please, like, oh, you got to. Excuse you got me, to, man. sir. Hey, so explain to me why you got your uh, Raiders flag like straight up and down like that. Like, is that some kind of like political? What What does that mean, nigga? It, 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 it's It's not that deep, dog. It's, it's, I don't have the two. I'd have like uh, two pins here. And it was oh, kind of okay. placed here. Like hella... Yeah, my okay, ex wife so set it up. 
So maybe it's my ex-wife. Maybe it's my ex-wife just hating on the Raiders because she set this up. She was she's a hater, nigga. Yeah, she's, she's but you know what? I, I got one too. I got a big ass flag, nigga. But you see, I don't have nothing on the walls because I don't. I would just had a flag, nigga, because I don't have nothing really else. It'll just be up there by itself. <laughs> they, gave, they, they gave me so much shit for not having stuff in the background. Like they, they, they they're like, why don't you have anything in the background? You're not a Raiders fan. Like seriously, I used to get who says stuff. that. The comments. Trust the me. comments. <laughs> tell, them, they, tell them bitch ass niggas to show up in person, nigga. <laughs> I'm just, I am just joking. us. your arrest record. What the hell? Yo, the sign is real simple, B. It says wrap it up. Wrap it up, B. No, the fuck you didn't. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Mike, nigga. Mike, you that shit? Wrap it up, nigga. Speak it up, nigga. Hey. You over here spectating. Hey, that was me. Hey, that was me. <laughs> I didn't do that that time. It was motherfucking Bluetooth. <laughs> Yeah, what is fucking get it get it going kinky kitty move or something? Like, fucking, 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 right? These are those Tom Brady moments. Hey, where's the I'm promo code? I came hey. in after you guys already. Yeah, right up with the bro. Hey, and when the shit posts, don't be putting the motherfucking like. Are you gonna be putting the fucking promo code bullshit on the top? Save twenty percent. Every time, Every time. say twenty percent with Coke and Kenny. Um. Anyways. <laughs> Before we get going, because we only we only got a few minutes left. We only got a few minutes left. We we started late. We uh we going a little bit late, but um there was some there was some news around the uh Kansas Kansas City incestors, uh the cousin kissers down there. Uh we got we got a couple things. I mean they they might they they about to be homeless and 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 Rasheed Rice decided to uh start some shit. So who who wants to hop on this one first? Homeless? What are you talking about? Honestly, brother. Oh, you didn't hear? Oh, yeah. Apparently, uh, city of Kansas City, uh, they didn't, um, they didn't extend uh, the lease. Yeah. So they, they, not they might it. not have uh, Arrowhead anymore as a, as a home. Man, please. These motherfuckers went in Super Bowls after Super Bowls. These motherfuckers are going nowhere. The Dallas mayor is calling for the Kansas City Chiefs to come home. I guess the city don't want to pay for renovation. That's that's wild. See, you let the Chiefs go. Hey, you let them motherfuckers. Hey, you let all of them motherfuckers talk about the Chiefs and leave your kids in the city. That whole family is going to fucking riot. Hey, man. That whole, whole fucking family. It's like 10,000 oh, members. And they all got the same grandma. Them fucking cousin kissing ass motherfuckers. They gonna burn that motherfucker <laughs> down. They ain't going nowhere. Kind of crazy. So what do you think's gonna happen with with, uh, with Rice over there? Because he, uh, he was recently involved in a uh, mass accident that him and his boys created. They walked away from the scene of the crime. Laid low for a couple of days, sobered up, and then pulled up and said, "Let's, uh, yeah, we could talk now. Like, what's good?" Wait, hold on. Yeah, wait, okay. So, I guess I wasn't paying close enough attention. They got an accident. They just left. Everybody knew it was them. Yeah, yeah, they did <laughs> that. They just what did they? I, honestly, went to jail. Nobody went to jail. Nobody nah. went to jail. No, nah. damn. That's. I mean, I'm glad. I'm happy. But how the fuck, nigga? I, I was laughing at the they video clip. Away. So, so white dude was like, so what happened store. to their car? <laughs> so when they left, oh, like, yeah. what happened to their car? They just left it. There was like three different cars, I think. Yeah. That, that they just left the cars, dog. They walked out, left the car. They just left the car and said, nigga, we rich. So fucking somebody go figure it out. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. he went home and the police said, show up. He said, no, nah, they got to wait till Monday when my lawyer come back to work. <laughs> Is that what happened? Until Monday when I, when I sober up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So did he showed up completely sober? Like I heard you guys. That's, that's smart. I heard, also, like, I heard you was looking right. for me. That's, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I heard yeah, that was an it's, it's smart because it kept him from getting a big stash in the DUI. That's the good one. Right. So what's gonna happen to him? He gonna get like a reckless driving type of ticket or some shit? I I doubt he gets a suspension. I mean, because it, it's a car accident. He's so he, it's hit and run. So I don't know if we get anything from the league though. Not not more than a game. Oh, okay. So, did who got hurt? Did somebody get fucked up? 
No, I think nobody died. Nobody, so, no, nobody died. Uh, nobody died. Damn. So that's that's what we're doing down to receivers. Is like, yeah, they didn't kill nobody. So I guess because yeah, these motherfucking Rucks receivers Rucks. have been going buck wild, they get, they be going fucking crazy. So as long as they don't kill nobody, uh, shit. You didn't kill anybody. Hey, oh, you know what? Wasn't it a receiver? It was a okay. receiver that killed somebody for real, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Henry was it a receiver that killed somebody? Oh. The two receivers. No, 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 no. Long time ago. I'm not, not the. Oh, not Star Wars. Shit. That's the- oh, Ray Carruth. Yeah, Dante. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, Dante <laughs> Star Wars had a. Uh... I'm not talking about the straight up murder. <laughs> no, it's Dante Star Wars, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ray Carruth. You know what? what we just, what we just learned is like, hey, if you got daughters, do not let them fuck with receivers, nigga. I not said something backs. about. That's, 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 I say running backs, man. He's got. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's, yeah, there's okay, so they can't fuck with football players because soon as we said, like, hey, who's that killer? Names just start dropping. <laughs> Ray Caruth. No, no, no. Star Wars. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. So what's the name? He hit somebody with a car and they died, right? Star Wars. And c- continued his yeah, career Star. after that, huh? Yeah, he got, I think he like, got signed by the yeah. Patriots. He yeah, was signed by the Super Patriots. Boy. That said, left good weed in the car and everything. Who who did? <laughs> you saying rice? Did? Not I. Honestly, that's rich people problem, bro. Yeah, that's rich people so. problem, bro. I, I can't do that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's crazy. So Kansas City, they at that point you, know, you already caught me on camera. I'm coming back from Kansas City, man. So, they going crazy after winning the Super Bowl. Like, look. You get people shot at their parade. You got you got their their wide receivers causing forty two car pile ups in Dallas, like. But but Vegas is a bad spot for for athletes. Now look, and and I was talking to my pops about this today. Is when players go back when players are from Texas and they go back to Texas, they do some stupid ass shit. Just like when players are from Alabama and they go back to Alabama, we've seen how that happens. Mm-hmm. Now when players go to texas for other reasons you see some you see some things happening we recently had a trade today in the nfl you were wondering where i was going with this recently had a trade today in the nfl where the Bills sent stefan diggs to the texans what do you guys oh. think about that uh <laughs> I, i'll go with that i mean i think with uh stefan diggs I think, you know, CJ Stroud is going to learn what it's like to have an alpha receiver over there. I think he had like Nico Collins and, you know, Tank Dell and some of those other guys, but they're, they're a little bit more quiet, right? Uh, they're a little bit more like, you know, if they don't yeah. get the ball, they, they don't say anything, right? But Stephon Diggs, like Devonta Adams, those type of guys, if they're open and they don't get the ball, they don't get the ball, they're going to let you know about it. And I think that's going to be a, a little tougher for CJ to understand. I think he's, CJ, what CJ really showed last year is that like he doesn't really need kind of like coaching or anything like that. He's just gonna read the field and he's gonna play quarterback how he wants to play quarterback. You watch a breakdown of CJ, he's kind of just going over, you know, ignoring what Bobby Slowick is calling. He's kind of doing his own thing out there sometimes. And I think that's what we're gonna see from CJ is that he if he gets some kind of what what's, what's the word I'm looking for um, chemistry with Diggs. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. that they're going to make a lot of big plays, but I think, you know, Nico Collins and those guys, um, yeah. they're going to have to get in where they fit. When you have a, an alpha wide receiver, it, it, these are guys are different. Okay. Now, because yeah. yeah. you, you could complain about him, his production, him complaining about getting the football, but he didn't get yeah. the football as much and he got traded. Right. And this is why they complain about getting the football. Yeah. In, so. in your opinion, though, do you think it's going to be any issues over there? Just considering the fact that besides Diggs, they have Tank Dell, they have Nico Collins. Do you think? Eventually, it's going to get to a point where he may get uh, irritated with not getting the ball enough over there, not enough production. See, or, I think CJ's going to feel or not enough looks. On. You think CJ's going to go ahead and, and stop that from being a problem? He's going to feed you him because because I'm just telling you the way CJ plays, right? Mm-hmm. And you know, CJ, if he sees Stephon Diggs with a one on one, and the play is supposed to go over here, I think CJ is going to take that chance. You know, now because I think Diggs can still get open. You know, Joe Brady, if you go look at Joe Brady, some of the stats with the Bill with the Bills when he's the Panthers, DJ Morton have the greatest stats with Joe Brady. Joe Brady leaves, DJ Moore goes up. 
Stephon Diggs had a lot more targets. Here comes Joe Brady, his targets go down. So I think, you know, with CJ, he's going to try to feed him a little bit. And I think Nico Collins, even though he had some big games last year, I think he's better fit for as number two. Tank Dell's a better fit as an, as an inside guy. And you can, you know, kind of spread the ball around a little bit. But I think he's going to be the guy that eats. It, it, it is. Yeah. It's, it's going to be hard for CJ not to throw to him, right? Because I thought yeah. that was a little bit AOC's problem last year. AOC would get, would get, get to the line. You see somebody lined up on Devontae Adams. Is the play supposed to go over here? He would throw to Devontae. So, like, it's it's hard for when you get those alpha dudes to ignore them. It just it is. It, it's hard. You, it's not going to be. You know his history. You know he's probably going to get open for you in a big moment. You know he's probably going to make that catch in a big moment. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's yeah. hard. It, it's tough for that type of guy. So. Yeah, si- Simon. Uh, Speaking of Devontae, I love your comment here, but that's a that's a sore subject for for us on this podcast because. Yeah. I think pretty much all yeah, four of us want to see Jay, right? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to see that. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Last year was their chance, man. Um, last year was a chance to get a quarterback. So I don't know. That's why I want to talk about it. They were at seven. Yeah. I feel like honestly, I still think they have a shot this year, bro. I really think yeah. they do. It's gonna it's gonna be a, a pretty penny, but I, I think it's possible. They could possibly get it done, especially if a, AP gets it in. Uh, a certain person's ear enough, he he may convince him right there. You never yeah, know. Did. Hey, shout out Oak Las Vegas. Shout out my boy Graf over there. He does a great job on his channel over there. Oak Las Vegas always showing love. I appreciate that. Um, like, guys, we're yeah, bro, I, re- I really do think though that it. If they do it, man, they, they just gotta you know. Hopefully, they feel like they're very confident in this football team if they do that. So. No, nah, I'm just going to be a, a ridiculous fan. The Raiders are not going to get the super quarterback that we need. So we're going to get a defense that's so good that it doesn't matter. We're going to get a defense that's matter. full of like That's Terry the AP thing, though. That's the AP thing, though. The AP thinks that he can just build a defense. And yeah, we're going to get a whole AP. bunch of Adam Butlers. <laughs> <laughs> and that motherfucker's going to win the Super Bowl. What the fuck is wrong with you, bruh? What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? I'm talking about Adam Butler is a better player than Tate No Line is talking about. And I'm, I'm I fucking stand the bullshit, nigga. Boy, I'm gonna argue with him, but he's gonna start he gonna start manipulating Tate Come shit. He's gonna start manipulating, Come nigga. Come on. And I'm not hey, gonna be can't... tedious enough to take the time to manipulate back. And he knows All it. Right. We can't, we can't, we can't end on a sour note. So yeah. let's let's, let's sour, stop nigga. hating. Let's stop hating on Mark real quick. Marcus, let everybody know where they can find you, brother. All right, so find me at, uh, at the Mark John NFL <laughs> at T Mark John NFL. Uh, Take on lie on YouTube. Find me there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you got TikTok. Take on lies on TikTok. I post some stuff on TikTok too. If you do TikTok. Um, so you, those are all my kind of channels you find there. You know, if you join the membership too, I got every quarterback breaking down at least two games. I got Jaden Daniels games. I got Michael Penix games. I got Bo Nix games. I got Michael Pratt games. I got uh, whatever. I got Spencer Rattler. I got everybody in the membership. So if you want to check it out, you want some long breakdowns, that's like every single pro of those guys. So check that out. Join the membership too as well. Also, in there, yeah, just subscribe to the channel, man. I'm, you know, we're doing uh, stuff all the time. We got episodes cooking all drafts there's we probably did like 30 draft episodes already i swear so so oh, yeah. go ahead check those out man we got every single player you can think of there you go make sure you guys check them out you guys know where we're at black team broadcast we're here every wednesday at 6 p.m me mike Avelli, big Corey, mike tyson you know how we do um if you guys aren't following them i don't know why the hell you're not because it's probably the best followers you're gonna find out yeah, on this panel right here you're not nigga. like y'all y'all need to get off y'all need to get off that pipe and and sure. just Get out there, but Corey, Mike, you guys got anything you want to say before I send us out? Yeah, I just posted a, a funny fight video. So go to at Big Corey Zero Zero on Twitter and Instagram. The shit is funny as hell. It's a nigga he whooped like seven white dudes that he he got in a fight with seven people at a pool party. Oh, you did that one yeah. solo. Mike, you got anything? I can't yeah. see what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, besides that, on top of what Corey was saying, uh, we might we may have something in the works soon. I'm not sure how soon, but soon we, we may have something in the works. And then, um, shit, you never know. I might I might just pop out Send with, with a video over. soon. Send the just, comp uh, over, Mike. Yeah, yeah Mike, 
We need a video. Yeah, let me hey, let me know though. Drop a video. But hey. A video? Okay. Hell yeah. Raider Nation. Hey, in the comments, let me know who you, who you all want to see on a video. Yeah, drop that in the comments. Spam the comments real quick as we hit you with this outro. Raider Nation, as always, thanks for pulling up. Black Team Broadcast. You know what it is. Black Team, you bitch. How about that? How about that? Everything we talk about. Ill intent, violence, physicality, execution. We out.